got married, and that marriage, they have been enjoying it for over 30 years. But after that 30 years, enemy came and created a kind of great void between them. That the mm. family had to now, they, they had to divide their house into two. You take this apartment, you take it. Don't come to this place. You are a witch. Don't come here. The witch that have not been witch for over 30 years became a witch after 30 years of marriage. Don't come to this place. This is my jurisdiction. By the time we begin to uh, uh, we begin to investigate more on this matter, we discover that the father of the husband, at exactly 30 years of his own marriage, exactly the same thing happened. That enemy came and spoke, and that the father said, see, from today, this is your own territory, and this is my own territory. There is one thing I want people of God to understand today. The fact that you are a minister of God, the fact that you are born again, does not mean that the enemy cannot get you. The only way the enemy cannot get you is when you break out from a covenant that binds a territory. That you break out from a covenant that binds a generation, that binds a foundation. It is until that covenant is destroyed. See, that is when you can enjoy your salvation. That is when you can enjoy your spirituality. I don't know if you are following me now. Now, this man believes that once I'm born again, I'm born again. Anything cannot come. But do you know that, that the father of this same man that I'm talking about is a powerful man of God. People used to come for counseling, they would pray for Oh, my father, whatsoever. But there is a greater demon that is greater than the anointing equality. And once that enemy enter or penetrate, he will not come back to you. And you were separated. You are going to pray today. Every activity that works with your lineage, that wants to separate your family, that wants to separate your home, that is bringing poverty to your lineage. Oh, Each time oh, a job is God. coming, another thing will happen. Each time somebody promises you something, they will oh, fail you of that thing. And then you are groaning in pain every day. God, God, I am calling your name. God, I am calling on your, on, on your name. You are going to pray that today, every covenant that binds your generation, every covenant that binds your lineage, in the name of Jesus, we, we, we destroy them. Open your mouth and pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, this is for me, O oh God. My Lord and my God, who knows tomorrow? Father, I come to you and I pray in your name. I pray in the powerful name of Jesus Christ, the name that you
If it is sickness, the end of that sickness must come today. Amen. If it is name it, whatever it is, spot it out from your lineage and begin to cancel it now. And tell the Lord, say, Lord, today marks the end of this kind of importance in my family. Please open your mouth and pray. My father and my God. From this very day, what I have been experiencing in my life, the sickness of the Holy Spirit, the sickness of the Holy every form of pain, and I let the pain live out the every form of pain, every form of pain, every form of pain, every form of pain, my mother's language, and whatever the enemy, I have to cause my father
first vow are being initiated. And then you begin to see those things playing out. And now this enemy within are the ones with tag stranger. They are the stranger that live within our family. Now this stranger, you if you like all them monitoring spirit, if you like all them foul spirit, if you like all them uh, whatever spirit you want to call them, but they practice witchcraft. And so this guy enemy, they are the ones that they, 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 they are your friends. So Some people will even make you know that, see, I am your enemy. Do whatever you want to do. Some will make you think that I am your friend. But the summation of it is this. As long as they live within your family, extended family, call it whatever family. Since it is family that binds you together, the blood speaks. As the blood of Abel speaks, when, it was, when, when, when the blood was spilled, the same, as we all know, that blood is life. And so, once that blood moves within a generation, within a, 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 a bloodline, that spirit now activates itself. And say, so, oh yeah, this one now will be clocking uh, age 25. Now, from 25, now I want to begin to talk of marriage. And in their own family, we don't get married at the age of 25. We get married at the age of 35. So, send me spirit of delay. When you give me spirit of delay, since I am within, I will know how to minister delay unto that person. And so that person too will begin to experience what we call delay. We call them strangers. We think they are part of us, but they are not among us. They are not for us. They are not with us. Therefore, I want you to pray. Every stranger that is living in my house, any stranger, yeah. you better pray very well. That lives within, that lives without, that conjure with my spirit. In the name of Jesus, I drive them out by fire. Open your mouth and pray. God everlasting Father, God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I am asking, oh God, every stranger living in my family. In the in the name of Jesus Christ. I Amen. understand the way some of us are praying. Some of us that have the understanding of what I am saying, we are taking this prayer seriously. But some people that do not really understand, well, I just pray that it will not be too late. A, a, week, a, week, a, a, a man practicing witchcraft, later when God met with him and he became converted, was telling us something. He said a witch does not have to be living in a house for him to do whatever he wants to do. He said what they normally do is this. Even if they don't live in that house, all they need to do is to turn themselves to a work gecko. Once they turn themselves to a work gecko, they enter into your wardrobe. And once they enter into your wardrobe, like a work gecko, they, they transmit themselves back to a spirit. And so once, once that spirit is there, everything you say in your house, they are hearing. Anything you say. <laughs> Some people, a, a, a man came to, a man told me something one day, say, we now discover that if we share testimony in the church, when we share that testimony, the thing will become worse. So we decided we will not share testimony in the church again. But whenever God does something for us, what we now do is this. We share testimony in our house. But we still discover that even sharing testimony in our house, once I say, ah, so I did well today, I made a lot of sales today. Once I tell the family like this, just understand that the one that we it's come next with the world. He says, so we don't even understand what is even happening. And now make them understand that there are spirits that live within. And you will be just receiving that. Look at this world record. 
Look at this uh, cockroach. Look at this, this one. You don't know that they are transmitting spirits. And these are those spirits that are familiar with whatever conversation and with your next to do. I want to do this one. If this one will not work, I will even go and do this one. If this one is not work, these are spirits that, that turn the idol, that connect with the devil. And when you hear, you hear that this one is backslidden, this one is uh, 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 um, enthusiasm to pray, has gone down. You will not know that it's as a result of what you have said. That the word gecko, you think is a word gecko, right? Having transmitted to the spirit world and highlighted it beyond your imagination, it becomes what you cannot handle again. We are going to pray. For every power that transmits themselves in my home, for every power that transmits themselves, following me everywhere I go, to hear whatever I say, that the Holy Spirit will destroy their power in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Almighty God, everlasting Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Oh Lord, try to the make of us themselves, oh God. They will frustrate you. They want to know your weak point. my conversation. They want to know your weak point. satanic activities i want you to know to act, actualize identify if you are not able to detect satanic activity in your house in your life when it is going on if you are not able to detect it not only detecting it if you are not able to deal with it <laughs> my brother i want to tell you without mixing word I'm telling you, you may die wretched all the rest of your life. When we talk about satanic activity, it's not something you pamper and you rub on your own with your hand and you are playing with it. No, no. Satanic activity, it can work in the life of a man. The Bible says when men sleep, if you are sleeping spiritually, satanic activity will be going underneath. In the dream, they will be operating. In the night, they will be operating. They will operate upon your daughter, upon your son, upon your wife. You will be doing everything. You will not know that these are the activity of the devil. I want you to open your mouth like thunder and pray. Every satanic activity in my life and family. Open your mouth and call upon God, brother. Fire the prayer, fire the prayer. Anywhere they are praying in my life. In my head, in my family, in my wife, in my daughter, 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 in my in my in my in my in be swallowed up, be swallowed up. Open your mouth and pray. And all that is being written, that is satanic activity. Open your mouth, brother. Open your mouth, brother. Open your mouth, brother. Every angry work of Satan, all the instrument of the devil, all operating in your life and family. Open your mouth and set them on fire. 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 
fire. They must not continue. They cannot continue. Open your mouth and stop them. If you don't stop them, they will waste you. Open your mouth and pray. Oh God, every activity of the devil, every activity of Satan, in my life and family, in my world, in my health, in my soul, in my spiritual life, in my prayer life. Oh God, oh God, they must not go further. They must not progress. Oh God, I put a stop to it. I put a stop to it. I put a stop to it. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Where are you, brother? Where are you, sister? That strange sickness in the body. That's the activity of the devil. That's satanic activity. They put something in your body. You cannot enjoy your heart. You cannot enjoy your life. They put asthma there. They put cancer there. They put one thing or the other there. Open your mouth and pray. Command them. Every activity of the devil, I put a stop to you in the name of Jesus. Raise your brother, pray. Raise your sister, pray. Open your mouth and fire their prayer. Uh, open your mouth and fire their prayer. A prayerless man is a dead man. Open your mouth and pray. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Pray, 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 brother. Pray, 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 brother. Pray, brother, pray, brother. It's time for you to call upon God. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and call upon God. Every satanic activity. No, you cannot continue. Again. You must not go further. Your activity must not succeed. In my life and family, I cannot. You must know. You cannot follow me again. This is a new month. I cancel. I destroy. I destroy every satanic activity. In Jesus' name, we pray. Now, in the name of Brother, please, let's. You don't understand what I am telling you. I am sure you don't get it because if you get it, you will tear yourself apart. Listen to me. I have seen the satanic activities in lives and family. May I tell you, if you don't deal with the satanic activity of breaking beyond be, 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 behind you in front of you, and you are not able to detect them. I'm telling you, if you are not careful, they will waste you. Not only will they waste you, they will make your 10 days journey to become 40 days journey. They will turn your life upside down, especially when you are prayerless, when you are not prayerful. You want to call upon God. See, satanic activity in some home. They will see satanic activity. They will say, oh, it is normal. It is normal. They say, oh, look at this sickness. This is and the work of the devil. Look at this one. It's the and the work of Satan. They will say, no, it runs in our family. It runs in our fam family bloodline. Daddy had it. Mommy had it. My brother had it. This one is happening. Sometimes it is poverty in the family. So Sometimes it is lack in the family. Sometimes it is joblessness in the family. Sometimes it is barrenness in the family. Sometimes it is sicknesses in the family. Sometimes it is one thing or the other. And I'm telling you, brother, you want to pray lastly, you want to rain down fire and thunder upon the powerhouse of the enemy operating in your life and family. Every satanic activity for this same purpose, the son of God was manifested that he might destroy the work of the devil. Every satanic activity in my life and family, I command you to scatter by fire. The one that is known scatter. The one that is not known scatter. Invisible scatter. Open your mouth and fire the prayer. Open your mouth and fire the prayer. Fire the prayer, fire the prayer, fire the prayer. That's how to do it. Fire the prayer. Open your mouth and call upon God. Every satanic activity running in my life and family. You are a liar. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
I pray, Lord, that your presence will go before him. You make a crooked place straight. You grant him favor in Jesus' name. Mighty Father, mighty Lord, whatever be the desire of your people. Those who have written down and those who have not written, the one at the table of our heart, oh, he that answered prayer until you shall all flesh come. Father, we have come. Oh, God, I pray, give answer. Give answer. Give answer to everyone's desire in Jesus' name. Father, we want to thank you. We want to bless you for what you have done. Thank you for our brother that you have used to be a blessing to us as we continue, continue with us. All the glory be returned to you. In Jesus' Amen. mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Over now to Pastor Matthew. Pastor Matthew. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We have very important prayer to pray today. Uh, last Sunday, we pray one. I was thinking the sister will be with us. But she's uh the nurses are attending to her now, so she couldn't be with us. But I know by the grace of the Lord, she will still be with us one of these days. Uh, the one we have today, I uh, we call on Brother Eric. That uh, by the grace of the Lord, we are going to pray with him. Uh, I want to quickly share a testimony. There was a time in the I was in a problem. Uh, many of our pastors knows about it. And then the problem was so big that it involved, uh, we are online, but I will say it, it was involved the, the church. Then I was there praying, then one person called me from another state, called me from another state, they told me you are, that God told me you are in this problem. That, and then he said I should pray with you. That, but what gives me assurance of calling you now is that when I was praying, I saw you van with me, and I, I, I and you, I took you out of that, uh, that uh, hole. So that's why I'm very good to call you from. You called me from another state. Uh, so I want our brother to believe that there's nothing God cannot do. Uh, I don't know. Let 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 him speak. After speaking, there's something you have not added, I will add it. So, Brother Eric, please, quickly go on and present your prayer with our pastor. And our pastors, I want you to take note of this. I want you to by it by, by Monju Lamore. I want you to take note of his number, especially most of our pastor. Please call in if you need to and pray along with him because of the circumstances he is now. So, Brother Eric, please go on. Okay. Thank you, Pastor. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Pastor. Um, because the story start, uh, short, um, I was in courtship with the sister. So she's not in where I live. She's at another country. Uh, I misbehaved or toward her by uh, insulting her because of what that happened. And then they take that uh, insult. And then uh, I travel. We prepare everything for the wedding when I travel. So that we can have the wedding, they say we stop everything because I insulted her. Then uh, they return me back. So as from today, um, uh, she called me last time, I think a week, a, a day ago, that you know uh, we are no more uh, in courtship. We decided to stop everything. So today, everything is Kata. Uh, when I arrived to work, that was gone. When I got to that was gone. So. I apologize to her, even um, the overseer of that country went to them, apologize that they did need their help. The family also refused. Um, so um, that's a little bit what happened. Okay. So uh, by the grace of the law, I know some of the part of the uh, the, the processing uh, as a friend, and then they have got to the state that the church has approved it. You can see. Our church in the in the other country, and then the church in United States, both of them as approved. Then pressure came. Uh, let me a little bit come coming up. Yeah, uh, uh, I was able to to say something when all those pressure was there, but I didn't know. I didn't know. 
So the pressure came and then he insulted this. I blame him a lot. I blame him a lot. That women are very fragile. But now, something that the church has approved, you know the process, something that church has approved, both here and there. Then the sister said, just because of what we are, as he has said to her and the family, the marriage is cancelled. Look at that long, to the extent that he has bought all the material to do the marriage for the sister. And the sister said the marriage is cancelled. But to me, I believe there's nothing God cannot do. God forgive human beings who cannot forgive. So I hand over to uh, our pastors. Uh, maybe Pastor Mike will still lead them, Pastor Dapo. We conclude. Let us pray for him. And by the power of the blood of Jesus Christ, the will of the Lord. To me, the will of the Lord is that the sister should forgive her. But, uh, God knows the best. That God should intervene totally. And God should take control in the name of Jesus Christ. All of us, we know what marriage is in the palace. So, uh, offer to you, Pastor Mike. Then, Pastor Dako, you have us. So, then, your pastor, if you need the name, please call me later. Okay, Pastor Mike, please take it. Let's, let's pray for our brother. Let's call upon the name of the Lord, that God will have mercy on him. What he needs now is the mercy of God. Let's pray that the mercy of God will prevail in this matter, in the name of Jesus. He has realized his mistake. He has seen where he has, he has his fault here. And now he's asking for the mercy of God. Let's pray. Oh God, let your mercy prevail. Let's open our mouth and call upon God. Just as our pastor has said, that he has made a mistake and he has, he has realized it. And now he want to make amends. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. Oh God, over the life of Brother Eric. Oh God, Father, let your mercy prevail. In this matter, let your mercy prevail. Let your mercy speak for him. Let your favor speak for him. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says that the heart of the king is in the hands of God. We want to pray the heart of that, our sister, that is that the wife is to be. We want to pray, oh God, turn their heart around. Oh God, turn their heart around. Oh God, turn their heart around. Oh God, we pray in the name of Jesus. Jesus, by the power and the authority in the name of Jesus, if it is your will, oh God, I pray, nothing will stop you. The Bible said that what God has joined together, let no man put asunder. Oh God, we pray in the name of Jesus, if it is your will that they should be together, only oh. God, you know how to knit them together, you know how to bring them together. We pray, Lord, you will go to where that sister is, you will go to her family, oh God, you will touch their heart, oh God, you will raise up some Somebody, oh God, who will realize and who will walk, oh God, Father, to bring them together again. Only Father will pray. In this matter, let your will be done. Only God of heaven will pray. Let your mercy prevail in the name of Jesus. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Uh, Just as I've said, that in this matter, the mercy of the Lord will prevail. Since our hey. brother is still interested in that, our sister, and he has realized where he has become, where he has fought, we want to pray as we have prayed. Father, let your mercy prevail in this matter. Let your will be done, and let all glory belong to you. Amen. I hand over now to Pastor Dabo. Pastor Dako, please hold on for me a little bit. Please, all of us that online. And then you, our woman, I'm not hearing your voice. And this thing concerns you most. Our brother is your son. And God will help you in Jesus' name. Uh, God will help every one of us in Jesus' name. Amen. I don't want to miss you this. Please, if it is just five minutes, give it to me. Last Sunday, I used his time. By the power and the blood of Jesus, as Almighty God will continue to remember him for good in Jesus' name. Paola, do you have anything uh, that you want us to pray for? I don't want to miss your prayer point this morning. Let us continue asking for our brother, brother Eric. Just pray that the will of God will be part. Ah, thank you. Uh, what, 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 a, what a man you are. The joy of the Lord will continue to be your strength in Jesus' name. As you wish for other people a million food. God will let it be for you in Jesus' name. And the joy that Lord will continue to be yours. Thank you for that, sir. You so surprised me. 
the joy of the Lord will continue to be your strength in Jesus' name. So, Pastor Dako, over to you, sir. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, we bless and we worship you for this time. Thank you, Father, because in all of our prayers, you have had it. Lord, I pray you will bring answers to them one after the other in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Lord and our Father, also the enemy, we have bind them. Amen. We have bind them. Amen. We pray that as we have bind them, we cast them into fire in the name of Jesus. Amen. We never come back to our life, our family again. Amen. Amen. We use this opportunity to pray for our brother Harry. That Lord, you know, you say your ways are not our ways. And Lord, however it suits you, do for us in the name of Jesus. Amen. God has seen the danger ahead. Mm. And God is like telling you that no, this is not it. Yes, your mind may be there, but the mind of God has left. If so, that is the will of God, then it will never come to pass in the name of Jesus. But if the will of God is in heat, then God will bring that back to you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, for as many of us that are looking unto you, Lord, what do you want me to do? What do you where do you want me to go? What direction are you sending me? Holy Spirit, speak to us in the way we will understand you. Something to what what happened with regards to our brother that I sometimes it's like not in ordinary. Sometimes mm. at times they are not ordinary. You just see something, maybe it was pushed. So it's two things. Either powers are working against him or they have a shortcoming. So I just want to pray a little prayer for him just to add to what. Our brothers have done. Okay, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God's mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Worship you for this, this meeting. We thank you because, in fact, this group has saved my life, and I know it will also save his own life. So we worship you because there is nothing difficult that you cannot do. Lord, there's no problem that you have never solved. There's nothing hard before you. We present by Eric into your hands. This situation we present it before you. Whether there are powers working against him. Lord, we pray that you pull down those powers in Jesus' name. Amen. If it's a shortcoming on his own part, because there's power in the blood of Jesus, because there's nothing you cannot do. You, you, you saved Paul. You saved Saul and make him Paul. You can also save him. You can take away that shortcoming and make him perfect in Jesus' name. Amen. Your will to back together in Jesus' name. Amen. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. I all our pastor, please. I want you to stay with him this period. Uh, it's here in United States. Call him if you see his number. And if you need this number for me, just call me so that uh, we can stay with him in this. Uh, to me, it's a trial period. You know what marriage is. Both of us that we have married and the one we are, we know what is it. And I pray God is going to give him upper hand in Jesus' name. And the prayer of all come to pass in Jesus' name. 
May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ the, love of God, the love of God, and the fellowship, and the of, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit be with us, be with now, us now, now, forever, now, now, forever. Amen. 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 Surely, goodness Amen. and mercy shall follow Amen. us Amen. all the days of our lives. We shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Except that the sister in Canada, she's a female. If any of our sister want to pray with her, I I will not discourage it. Uh, if you see that God is leading you, all our leader in the prayer group, please. If God gives you, just let me know. Uh, I will make sure you get in touch with her. Uh, God bless us. Sir. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you very much. Amen. Thank you. God bless you, sir. Thank you, sir. Let us invite other people. Keep inviting people. Uh, God bless you, sir. Thanks. We pray. We want to thank the Lord. We want to honor the Lord for being in a church like Deeper Life Bible Church. I want to say something quickly. Uh, sometimes, although when some of our leaders may uh, maybe want to talk, you know, sometimes they may sound as if uh, uh, that's the only church that, uh, that maybe in our ministers the truth, maybe the way they sound, well, that's not correct anyway, and it cannot be correct. But at the same time, to be grateful that we are in a church like this that takes the Bible at a face value. I, I wonder if I was in Jehovah Witness, if I was born in Jehovah Witness or Catholic, what would have been my faith? And yet you have millions of people born into Jehovah Witness family, children who never knew. Innocently, they were just born into this family. And then I look at the opportunity and the privilege, and God is not going to say it's not their fault. They die in their sin. They will still go to hell. Thank the Lord for the mercy God has shown to us. You know, while I was teaching the scripture this morning, I was telling the congregation and I was telling the people, that this world was lost. Calvary opened new way. All the troubles of mankind and the tears of human race. Calvary said to them all, Jesus conquered them all. Thank God for Calvary. Why you not Calvary? Why you not the privilege of coming out and then were able to know the truth? 
that's that's why a lot of us we can detect error a lot of us we can detect that oh this thing is false oh this creature what is preaching this is rsa it is because mm. we have been enlightened it is yes, because sir. we plant it is because we have been exposed to really undiluted and on that on adulterated word of god let's thank god for this privilege father we worship you to bless you the first of name for the privilege to be in a living church where your word is preached without reservation we adore you oh lord for this great privilege we say glory honor and us our time to your name oh lord in jesus name father we were born in all these other places when the word of god available who oh, are defending Thank error and arrest for Lord, we give us the privilege to have the undiluted word of God to worship you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. The reference to Lord, the glory of Lord, the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Father, we adore you, Lord. We bless your name. We reference your name. We say glory on the Satan in your name. In the name of Jesus. We have prayed. Amen. Uh, tonight we are using a case study. It's a very serious, we have very serious prayer tonight. But unfortunately, we do not have time to lead the prayer. And uh, so I will quickly rush. Uh, the session of the prayer, and that is this session of uh, this. Let's look at um, in a, talking about the story of Elijah in First King chapter nineteen. First, First King, King chapter nineteen. I read from. I will just quickly rush it because time has gone. In let me just jump to verse. Um, verse 4 talking about elijah we are ministers of god so we understand the story very well but we have to pick some selected verses and he himself went a day's journey into the wilderness and came and sat down under a juniper tree that's elijah now the prophet of fire after he had caused revival in chapter 7 where chapter 17 uh two chapter before now where he spoke and in chapter 18 there was a massive revival where the people declared that the lord is god and a man who was mightily and powerfully used by god now here is something that happened to him he went a day's journey and came and sat under a juniper tree what was it doing? it was a question that himself might die elijah asking god that it is enough that God should take his life, for he was not better than his father. That was a lie. That was a lie. It was because he was discouraged, so he began to say what he ought not to be saying. Discouragement can come to anyone. I want to go before God tonight, and I want us to really pray. From the very mm. depth of our heart, there are pastors going through challenges. There are pastors going through some misrepresentation. And we may not necessarily mention names tonight. We may not necessarily mention even the situation as, as practical. But then we want to beg God. If the situation some of our pastors are going through is financial and is bringing a kind of discouragement. You know, uh, while I was teaching today, I told the people, imagine God. You know, I fear God. Honestly, I fear God. Now, God killed Abihu and Nadab. Yes, it was God that killed them. That's the way I told them in the congregation today. I told the people that it was God that killed them. So we should not try to face you whether Satan or God killed the two. And that same God now said that Aaron should not even cry. Aaron should not weep. And Aaron had to comply. But that's not where I'm going. That's not where I'm going. Now, when God now said that Aaron should not cry, Aaron should not weep and all of that. Now, you wonder the level of maturity of Aaron. The pain was there. The agony was there. But he needed to still minister. Because the people were looking up to him. That's how our pastors are. They have their own pain. They have their own injury. They have their own challenges. 
They have the thing pushing them. They have things they are going through. But yet they come to the congregation. They smile. They preach. They minister. And that's why you want to stand in the gap tonight. That tonight God will settle their case. As many cases that are before us, spiritual, God will settle. Physical, God will settle. Financial, God will settle. Marital, God will settle. I want us to pray from the depth of our heart that God will settle all our pastor. You can mention them for your own. You can quietly mention them for your own. You can quietly tell God you know the case. You can quietly tell God that God will settle. King of Glory, omnipotent and omniscient, omnipresent Jehovah Shama, we are praying for that we Oh my Father, in the name Lord, of Jesus. Lord, we pray that you visit our oh. pastors, oh Lord. God, I don't want to challenge the order, ah, oh Lord. I should need to pray for... Amen. You know, sometimes when they listen to some of our sisters or some of our pastors, they say, ah, this pastor, they try you. Even though uh, he don't marry for many years, he no get children. Uh -uh. You see, they smile. You know, even they feel them. Who said you know they feel them? I will tell you something that happened recently. In the last retreat we had, one of our fervent and powerful sisters here, who had been married uh, for more, more than 16 years now, no issue till now. So at a point, she even became ill. I don't think it was the issue that led to the... So she had done operation like two times. So that day, I, a, a leader now said, okay, I should drive, I should... The sister was feeling feverish. So she was with me. I'm close to this leader. The leader now said, I should use my, my own, his own car to drive this particular sister to the... Uh, where they call welfare. We know welfare. So I drove her to welfare. Now, myself and the sister, because we are close, and with another lead, another sister was inside the car as I was driving down there. Would you know, before I knew it, for the first time in my life, I saw this sister, Sister Lelada. She was crying. Hey, God. Ah, I could not bear. Then I understood. Uh, yes, I knew that she was not fine. But as I not being fine, emotionally, emotionally, how will somebody have been married for so many years? No issue. We want to pray for cases like that. Cases yeah. like that. You know, child bearing. Cases that uh, like people have uh, issue with their marital life. Cases like yeah. pastor not having money to spend or take care of their family. Cases like pastor not having money to pay our swing. Oh. Be going for one day, borrowing this one, doing that one. Oh, 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 all the leaders in the oh, Father God, all over the world, oh Lord. That I do want challenge your job. That we could all the leaders, including the sisters of God. That I have any issues of God in their personal life, in their family life. Job and the Lord. In the image of faith, this evening we pray by God, oh Lord, God, my Father. That you answer them, Lord. You said your word. No, be parent among us. Father, honor your word on their behalf. And turn it around for good, Lord Jesus. Father, you know good. When you come to First Samuel 30, you will see how everything was lost, and then the people became so discouraged. David too was discouraged in First Samuel 30, and David too was discouraged, and then we saw the distress that came upon David. Now let's go back to the first thing. We are reading. Before we read the first king, we are going to pray now. As many of our pastors who have become discouraged as a result of delay in, in answers to prayer, 
uh, mm. let's get one of our leader here. Mm. Was, uh, please, let's pay attention. One of our pastor here uh, is a is a regional youth coordinator. Regional youth coordinator, Pastor Stan. I've known him. I've known him for so many years, and uh, he's been married for fifteen years. No issue. Just mm -hmm. yesterday, the wife delivered twins. Just hey. yesterday. Amen. Uh, Amen. In one of our region here, it's somebody I know. It's somebody that know me. I know him for many years, and just yesterday, he had twins. The wife, the wife. delivered twins. That's mm -hmm. that's conversation. Our new group pastor that, that that was sent to us recently is a big man by the grace of God. Uh, financially, is a big man. But he married. November will be the 30th year he's been married for 15 years. No issue. But by the time mm. God started with him, a baby girl came. The next children was just twins, boy and girl. And uh, mm. he just with those three. And so God has a way. We want to beg God and cry to God. And not mm. come to all the necessary delay. Let God bring breakthrough to our pastor, our leader, our sister. All our leaders, Pastor Matthew, Pastor Peter, Pastor Ali, Mike, in the name of Jesus Christ. no time oh time is rushing time mm. is going quickly in verse five and as he lay and slept under a juniper tree behold mm. then an angel touched him god will touch our brothers and sisters and Amen. God will touch our brothers and sisters. Touch mm. their body, touch their soul, touch their spirit, and make them, oh Father, touch their body, touch yes, their Lord. soul, touch Papa. their spirit, oh Father, touch my body, touch my soul, touch my spirit. And make me, oh Father, touch my body, touch my soul, touch my spirit, and make me whole. Oh, want to pray that I can touch everyone. Oh God, touch my beloved Pastor Matthew. Oh God, touch our beloved Pastor Ali. Oh God, touch our beloved Pastor Shedri. Oh God, touch our beloved Pastor Bosse, Pastor Peter. Oh God, touch our beloved Pastor. Dan. Oh God, Pastor Femi Ojo, in the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. We are going to pray. We are going to pray. Look at what happened here. God is wonderful. Honestly, God is wonderful. Look at what God, God sent a, a, a stingy bed to carry food. Why did God not send a generous bed? The kind of bed that God sent to Elijah was a stingy bed. Were told in the sea, and he looked, and behold, there was a cave breaking on the moon, and a course of water at the end, and he did eat and drink and lay down again. God will provide for our people miraculous provision, supernatural provision, extraordinary provision, a provision Amen. that 
beyond normal. In the name of Jesus Christ, those who need your God will supply. Those who need good, good pay, employment, God will supply. How can it be that we have people who are serving God and yet no good employment? They cannot take care of their children. They cannot take care of their wife. They cannot take care of their woman. Oh, Jesus, it cannot be. In the name of Jesus, let them supply. So, natural supply. So, natural abundance. Yes, Jesus, yes, Lord. supposed to use to pray but time will not permit me to go line by line and present and so we'll just quickly go to david's case and then we're going to pray the god of heaven who made him to recover all the god of heaven who made him to recover everything he lost that god in heaven whatever that seems that we have lost whatever seems that we have lost in the course of our serving god Whatever privileges and opportunity, whatever thing, time or whatsoever, God will compensate you, Pastor Matthew. God will compensate you, Pastor Peter. God will compensate you, Pastor Mike. God will compensate you, Pastor Shadow. God will compensate you, Pastor Femi Ojo. God will compensate you, Pastor Bani. Every one of you tonight, Pastor. Then Lord will compensate you. Let's go to God. We shall recover all. We shall recover all. We shall recover all. We shall that diligently seek the O Lord Father, we pray. Reward all these children that have mentioned thy names now, O Lord, in thy name of Jesus Christ. Father, I cannot go. You know where these people, O Lord, are looking unto thee, Father, Lord Jesus Christ, for your touch, for your breakthrough. Father, Lord, we pray. Aki, O Lord, unto them, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Answer their spirit, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Reward them, O God. Compensate them, O Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, Bible said that no one will save you. We will serve you for the day. We serve you for the day. Encourage As I close, so that I can give Pastor Matthew some time to also lead, I'm reading chapter 13 now, and I'm go I want us to take a prayer point there, very striking and instructive as leaders. In chapter 30, verse 6, the last part of that verse 6, but David encouraged himself in the Lord his God, mm -hmm. and were told in verse 8, and David inquired at the Lord, want mm -hmm. to pray that God will help us to develop an intimacy with him. There is mm -hmm. nothing as beautiful as servant of God, having an intimacy with God, our personal relationship with God is more important than the work we are doing. You know, if we are not careful as leaders and pastors, 
we can allow activity to crowd our lives and then no time for quiet time anymore no time for praying to god on our own and then if rather than even imparting the life of the people we ought to impart we are not imparting them as expected why because our own life are not being imparted heavily by god we want to pray right now that god will help us to develop an intimacy intimacy mm. with god what can be so beautiful than developing an intimacy with him we will not do permutation and combination with god we will not be doing talu kalu and casino with god we will not be playing anki panki game with god we will have an intimacy with him when he speaks we will hear when he directs we perceive open our eyes to see open our ears to hear let us not be blind leaders or blind pastors my god open our ears let us hear deep things let us see things oh god let us hear spiritual things in the name Hallelujah. I, before we call the sister that is among us, uh, that you present the prayer request for, for, and then we use that one to use the opportunity to encourage all our pastors that if their wife is available, they can be joined. I know we are busy, so that we will not take your time, then we take the time of the wife too. But in case they want to join, please allow them to be joining. God will help us in Jesus' name. Uh, today, I still have, uh, you know, last year I told you I have four husbands, uh, by the grace of the Lord. Uh, what what happened like that? The insurance increase your your fees. Uh, today, too, uh, I don't want to say I have an accident, but it was an accident. I was in the front waiting for people to come in into the bus. As I was waiting, 